and welcome to another video by the Ministry of Miniatures and today we've got a very special battle report. Uh, we are doing a starters learn to play bolt action and we have John joining us in the, uh, the Ministry to have a battle um, based on the Band of Brothers. So let's have a look at what we're going to do and walk through very shortly. So following on from uh, the weekend up in the NEC where uh, we went to the Games Expo to support the National Kidney Federation. One of the things that was really evident was the amount of people that wanted to get into uh, bolt action and the new starter set, Band of Brothers, was very, very popular. We uh, had it on our daily prize draw um, and also we recommended it to quite a few people who went and bought it from Warlords. So based on that, I thought today would be a good, a, a good way of us demonstrating the game. So what we've got here are two armies that come from the core starter set Band of Brothers. So um, John has elected to go with the 101st Airborne. This is Easy Company. It's D-Day plus 10. Um, they've managed to get themselves together and they're going to be fighting against the Grenadiers that are going to hold up and try and defend their uh, ammunition dump. So let's have a closer look at the forces and I'll be back shortly. So first up we have the US Airborne. As you can see here, this is 24 troops. They're all the plastic ones that come from the starter set. So um, it's four order dice. It comprises of uh, a basic platoon. So there is the officer with an assistant. Both have, both have SMGs. Um, I've given a Pathfinder squad, four men. That's got an NCO, again, all SMGs. And then there's two identical paratrooper squads. These are all runners veterans. As you can see, both NCOs have uh, Thompson SMG. There are five riflemen, a BAR, and each team has an LMG. So quite a lot of firepower for the four dice. Next up, these will be regular. There is an officer of an SMG with an assistant. Uh, and then there's two identical squads. Each has an NCO with SMG. There are uh, an LMG and a loader in each team. And then they're followed up by the SDKF Z, which has a Panzer uh, Busch in the top. So that should give uh, a bit of firepower to help support the Germans. So they're the two sides. We're going to look at the uh, board. Um, oh, it's included as part of it. Um, we've put a couple of sets out here and I've added a road up the middle um, and some hedges and bushes and trees just to make it look a bit more authentic. Um, so the idea of today's battle is very much going to be the Germans are going to defend their um, uh, ammo depot and the Americans are going to be coming on from that side to attack. I'll be running through all the basic rules um, and answering questions as we go. Um, but as you can see, the um, hedges will all give soft cover, the ruins will be hard cover and then the wheat fields if you're in them will also be soft cover. So we're going to get started shortly. We're going to put the dice in the bag and we're going to run through the dynamics and I'm going to talk to John and we're going to go through how to play a game of bolt action. Okay, so let's start by talking about what bolt action is. Bolt action is a 28 millimeter tabletop World War II game. Um, and in essence, we're going to be fighting um, over this battlefield. But the way the basic uh, elements work is that each unit will be given a, a dice. Um, so as you can see, we've both got four units and a basic platoon is made up of an officer and two infantry units, or it could be two tanks. Um, and each unit will then be given a dice. So each of these dice goes into a bag and you can see in the background there, there is a bag um, and it's very random. So what we do is each turn, we start turn one, the dice is pulled out of the bag and that person decides what they want to do. So you can do anything um, within reason with your troops. If you've got the dice out of the bag, so it could be you move your officer, it could be you move your infantry squad, um, or for me it might be I, I move my half track. Um, and each dice has um, a different element to it. So the first one would be advance, and that means you can move forward six inches for infantry um, and fire. Half tracks are nine, wheeled vehicles are 12. You can also fire so that just means you stand still and shoot so you don't take a penalty for moving the americans have a special rule so they don't get a penalty for moving anyway um, then we also have a, a run order so that means you can go double speed but you can't fire okay yeah uh, there's also a down order so if you want to duck and take cover you can just go down if you haven't been already yeah. 
Uh, and then there's also a rally, which just means it's like a bit of a pep talk. You, you, you take cover and you just um, rally off some of the shock that you'll be getting throughout the battle, which are called pins, which we'll come to in a minute. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one on there is ambush, which we might use, might not, which just means actually as you're for your go, you're just going to get ready, get your guns ready. They're all pointing in the right direction. If something comes in your way, you're going to shoot and attack them. So that's the dice. We've collected them up. There are eight in total. They all go into the bag. So pop that dice into yep. your bag. Um, and let's just run through the dynamic. Right, so probably the best thing to do is we'll run through a turn. This will be turn one. And we'll see uh, just as it, how it goes and we'll talk through the rules. Um, so there's the dice bag. Yep. Give him a shake, yep. pull a dice out. And the first dice out of the bag is who goes first. Yep, so, so that's Germans, right. So um, if I'm coming on from this end, I'm gonna get my officer and he's gonna run 12 inches up here. So I'm gonna put him on a run order and he's gonna run up here and I just need to measure 12. There we go, so I've run my officer there. So what I've done is I've given him a run order so he can't shoot, but there's nothing for him to shoot at anyway. Yes. Okay. So the best option for me is just to run. Yep. So next dice, let's see who that is. And then we'll talk through some of the options you can do. Me? Americans, so you've yeah. got a choice. You can bring any of your units on. Okay, uh, uh, so I'm gonna run as well. Uh, let's move towards the point. Uh, and I'm gonna move, again, my officer. Okay, well. so we're running from the edge of this mat to the edge of that mat is the board. It's about four foot by four okay, foot. So starting. Yeah, anywhere yeah. along your edge yeah, you can come yeah. in. And that's 12 inches, so there's your measure. You can run up to 12 inches, you don't have to go the full 12, you can go okay. anywhere up to 12. Yeah. But that also means uh, that you forego any shooting. The things you might want to think about is being in cover, that's yeah. always a good thing, because actually yes. if you're behind a hedge or a building, it gives you okay. uh, bonuses. So, it's not there, isn't it? Well, you can come in anywhere on the back edge. Oh, okay. So if you wanted to, come in by the bottom there and just come 12 inches straight up, do whatever you want. Yeah, okay, so I'll go there. Yeah, that's it. On that corner. And does that count as cover? Cause... It depends where, because if, I'm, shoot where if I'm shooting okay. from here, then actually you can see they're in the open, but yes, actually okay. if I'm shooting from over here, yes, they're in the cover. Okay. And to be able to shoot something, you have to be able to see it. Yeah. So you would get down to the person's eye level and see if you can see. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so that's your officer that's moved. So yeah. let's have a go at... Um, I'll keep the dice. Yeah, so the dice goes next them. to him so you know who's been and what order's been given to them. Yeah. Uh, and then we pull the next dice out. Cool. Uh, that's you. Me again. Okay, let's get... Um, I'm going to get an infantry unit coming up the road. Um, and again, they're going to run because there aren't any real viable targets for me. So it's just a five man squad and they're running. I have to keep the loader uh, next to um, the, so as you see here, I've got an LMG. Yeah. So I have to keep the loader. He's the one with the uh, bullets around him. So they have to stay next to each other. Um, and there you go. Each man has to be within one inch of each other. Okay. So yeah. Um, there we go. So that's my move. I've just done a run order. You again. Me again. Crikey, this is not what I wanted. Right, I'm going to do exactly the same um, and bring my next squad up here. There we go. So I've just positioned my second unit they've run on. So next dice out the bag. You again. And me again. <laughs> Okay, right, I've only got my half track, so I am going to bring my half track on the road. So they can move nine, but on a road they can go double. So I can go up to 18, but all I'm gonna do is pivot there and I'm just gonna drive up to here. And he's gonna stop there. Okay. And I'm gonna look to see if I can see your officer, which I can, just. Um, but he's going to get hard cover from that wall. Okay. Um, so it's going to be uh, movement for small team five, hard cover seven. So I've got one shot to try and get a six by six. So that's what seven means. Is. 
some people call it super sevens, um, but it basically anything higher than a six is considered a super shot. So that's kind of sniper lucky shot. Okay. So you have to get six by six, so it's very unlikely. No, I've got two. But in this game, it's all worth a shot, isn't it? So that's what I've done. I've given it a go and the rest are yours. So yes, we can pull the dice out, but yep. I know they're just yours anyway. So you can just pull both out and decide yep. what you're going to do with your troops. So, yep. Okay, so you're going to bring some paras on and they're yep. going to have a run order. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So let's take so them just up to that hedge line there. Absolutely. And they're your park finders, oh, are they? Sorry. So as long as no one goes further than 12, you can line the bushes or... Yeah. We just need to make sure... They, they, you mean you should be all right? Keep within an inch of each other. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And because you ran, you can't fire. Can't fire, yeah. So then you just put the dice next to them, which yep. says uh, run order. And that's it. So you've got a nice little unit coming up there. Brilliant. Then yeah. you've still got two left to go, haven't you? Yeah. So, so what are you going to do with your pathfinders? I mean, I have them come in. Uh, can they, because the half track's armoured, will they still be able to attack it? Uh, you can only cause a pin. So okay. we'll come on to what pins are. So pins basically are, as you're getting shot at, the more pins you've got, the more scared you are, the more less likely you're going to take an accurate shot. So if you've got five pins for example that means you've been shot at a lot and you're going to be ducking down and firing your machine gun or your rifle over the top of your head without looking so the chances of hitting is going to be harder and harder yes. so okay. pins do help um but you don't really have anything that can damage that no okay so then i'm going to advance the pathfinders yep uh so let's see, let's try. So you have to come on from your your edge. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to have them coming up. Uh, do the trees are the trees cover? Like, like, uh, not not really. not really. So it comes okay. on from the end. So put your ruler to the end. Yeah. And then they can come on six inches from there. So, so right. I'll just have them starting to come up that road then. Yep. And they've all got Thompsons. So different guns can fire different distances. So yeah. a submachine gun can fire 12, a rifle can fire 24, a machine gun can fire 36. Okay. Um, and then you have different cannons can do more than that. So yeah. it depends so your on the range. Hansa Bush will be yeah. longer range. Cool. Okay, and then so you've just got just your last, last unit. Yeah. Uh, I am going to give them the run order. Yeah. I'm going to take them from this edge. So right from the edge. Yeah. So and that's as just... far as you go. So you don't have to go that far on a run order. Okay. But that's as, as far as you can go. Yes, it will. I'm going to move them into that field. Yeah. There. Yeah. There you go. So you've just put your second unit there. So you've got. So this is that's pretty much the first wave of our troops yeah, have come so on. The first go. Um, so. As you can see, we've quite quickly, because um, this table is a bit smaller, we've quite quickly got to positions where we're going to start shooting each other. So yeah. um, that's the end of turn one. Um, and then what we do is we collect all the dice up and we yeah. start turn two. So are there any questions or anything you've got from no, the end of so that, turn one? Yeah, that all makes sense. Good. So let's collect the dice up. We'll turn this across to turn two and uh, we'll go through another round and see what happens and see what questions come up. You, okay, so yeah. turn two. Go on. Okay. You? Ah, isn't that typical? Right. So, although I said it doesn't come up very often, I'm going to put the Panzerbusch on uh, ambush. So, if you move across in front of me, I've got a 45 degree arc each way. So, if you move in front of me, that can a um, activate my ambush if I choose. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next dice. Yep. So, do you know what you're thinking of doing? So, 45 degrees. 
I'm gonna run uh, <laughs> this unit about as far as they can go. Yeah. Uh, so one of the rules, uh, so yeah, because there's a gate there, you could, you can go 12 inches. So you wouldn't be able to occupy the building, but you can no, get up to I can the building. get up to it, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna move them just. Yeah, so if you measure the first man and the back man, then you can just move those and then everyone else can just go in between. Yep, so first man. So just put them up to the edge of the building. Yeah, so just... There we go, so that's your unit running across there. And so I am going to activate my ambush at 45 degrees. I would go right when you're in that wheat field in the gap there. It's still going to be um, soft cover. Um, but I'm, so I'm going to need a four to hit you with the cannon. Okay. And I get a two. So the ambush goes to fire and I missed. So you ran across and fired, but I couldn't quite see you. Boom. So that's that. Okay, so next dice out the bag. Yep. You. Me, right. So I am going to move my officer up and he's just gonna move up six inches up to here. In fact, I'm going to do, a, yeah, I'm just going to move to here and my assistant with him, I'm going to measure the distance, I'm going to take a shot at your Americans okay. beyond there. So they've just advanced. If you can measure the distance from this man here to your nearest man. Yep. So Is that within 12? That. Yep, that's 10 inches. Okay, so because he's got an SMG, so... When, when we shoot, there are penalties. Everyone shoots on a three. Yeah. Across the board, everyone's a three. But there are various penalties. So because I've moved, I get one. So that makes it a four. So the rifleman's hitting on a four. Um, how many did you say it was? Ten? Ten. So it's not long range. So it's still a four. And they're behind cover. So the rifleman's hitting on a five. Okay. And then the SMG doesn't have a movement penalty. This is where it comes trying to remember stuff. But... So he's moved, but he doesn't have a movement penalty, but it is long range, so that'll be a four. So they're both hitting on a four, but the SMG gets two shots. So I get yep. three shots. So movement four, soft cover five. For the rifle is a five, and the SMG is long range and soft cover. So both five, sorry. Yep. So I've got one hit. Yep. So you take a pin. Yeah. So these okay. these are pin markers. Yeah. So that means oh, you've you've noticed you're being shot at, and that should be on one, which it is, I think. No, it's on four. So make sure it's on turn to one. Okay. Uh, and then I'm trying to kill you. So your guys are veterans, so I need a five, and I've got a six. Okay. So you've got a man dead. Now, yeah. when you roll a six, that means basically I've had a really really good shot. So if I can roll another six, I get to choose. No. So it's just you choose. So I choose who goes down. Yeah. So you, so, so the the you have basic riflemen, or you have grunts, if you like. Yeah. Then you've got the NCO who gives command help. Yeah. You've then got a BAR which fires two shots, a bit longer range. So it's a bit of a good gun. And then you've got a light machine gun which yeah. fires a heavier so it's rate. Worth getting rid of a standard rifleman then. Yes. Yeah. So I'll get rid of this guy. Yeah. So you've got one dead, one pin, so that just is a little bit impacting on your ability to fight, but yep. not overly. Okay. Yeah, so then it will be the next dice. So it's me. Yep. Uh, you shot through the light cover at me. Can I shoot back through the light cover at you? You can, but I would have heavy cover heavy because cover. I'm up oh, against, okay. uh, so, up yeah, so because I'm up against the building, I would get okay. cover for that. So Which, so light uh, covers one, heavy covers two, so I would have a, and I'm a small team, so it's harder to hit me. Okay. So tell me, because you can't pre-measure on this, so tell me what you're thinking. Okay. Um, I'm going to advance uh -huh. across there and then attack. So you've got a couple of chances, you've got a couple of options here. You can um, assault, so you can run 12 inches to attack me, or you can move six inches and fire. 
but only those that can see can fire. Okay. Um, or you can just advance and just stay where you are. So it's up do to you. Do I get, if I do the assault, do I get a larger movement penalty? No, so you can move 12. Okay. Um, you have to be able to see me, and it goes from the nearest man to nearest man. Okay. So, uh, I will assault them, because I think I'm mm -hmm. in some room. And does, do all, they have to be within an inch, inch of each other, but can I move those guys there? Yeah, so they, they, they all go. Yeah. They all go, it's just your nearest man. So first thing, because you've got pin, you see a pin there? Yeah. You need to take an order test. So okay. like a morale test, basically. So get two dice. Your guy's a veteran, yeah. so you need to score 10 or less, but because you've got pin, it's now nine or less. Okay. So what's that one? Uh, 11. 11. So yeah, so, so they've gone, oh, I ain't doing that, and they've yeah. just hit the deck. So what you do is you turn your dice to down. Yeah. So instead of them charging forward, they've just said, oh, no, there's people in there. No, we're not charging forward. There's gonna be more Jerry's. There's no way we're going in. Yeah. So that's their go over this turn. Okay. So let me take out dice in the bag. You. Yeah. Germans, right. So for me, I now know the threat here's gone. The threat over there's gone. So I need to start taking some kind of defensive position that I can uh, lay down some fire on you. So I am going to move this squad. You pass me that ruler, yeah. the small one, because oh, yeah. I'm just going to advance. So I'm going to take up a position up here. And I'm going to position my LMG there. And my loader goes up next to him. So these guys have moved up and they are an advanced. And I'm going to shoot at your uh, pathfinders. Okay. Yeah. So I can see. So two of them, so two of them is in cover. So they've got cover. So I'm gonna do some measuring. So my LMG, because it's German, has six shots. So it gets an extra shot. Okay, yeah. So he definitely is in range. So let's measure and come back. Right, so they're just within 18 for the LMG. So the LMG moved. So everyone shoots on a three. The LMG moved, that's a four. You're behind soft cover, so that's a five. So the LMGs are gonna need fives. And then I've got two rifles, they're at long range, so they need sixes. So let's do the sixes first. So two shots needing a six, that's one. And then five shots for the German LMG needing fives. So I've just got one hit, so they take a pin. Yep. And let's see if I kill one. No. So that's your other ones, your four man squad up there. Yeah, so they've just taken a pin. So they've been shot at, they're aware of it, but they're not too worried at the moment. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me see who's next. Okay, Americans. I am going to... You're not on ambush anymore on the nope. half-track, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to advance, and I'm going to advance my officer. Um, again, I'll do the assault. So, just just so you know, there's no pre-measuring, and if you fail, then you do fail. So you just stop in the open. Okay. So, so I'm gonna move just there. So, are you running or assaulting? Uh, it does, it's gonna be the same because you're outside of twelve. You wouldn't be able to assault me anyway. So effectively, okay. you're just running up in my face. Uh, okay. So, but now I've made that decision, I can't. Well, you can, because this is a basic starter okay. game. But ordinarily, because you measured it, you wouldn't, that would be it. Because okay. there's no pre-measuring. So if you declare and then measure, you've made the move. You've made the move. Okay. Um, so what, tell me what you're thinking. I was thinking I was going to assault and attack these guys, but it's just slightly so, too far. So what do you think the chance is of two guys with SMGs going up against five oh, well, Germans sure. behind? <laughs> Low. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm better off. Keep your powder dry, move yeah. forward, keep moving forward, lay yeah. down shots, so, keep moving forward. Yeah, so I'll advance, uh, but instead of going up against them, I'm gonna go 
knock so far just behind that light cover. Uh -huh. So if you advance, you go six. If you run, you go 12. So run then. Okay. Not, uh, yep. So I'll move those two. Yeah, so your officer is moving up close. Yep. And then I think we've got one dice each left of me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's your unit at the back. Yeah. So I'm gonna run again. Yep. Uh, do I need to do an order thing? Yes, you do, yep. because you've got pin, you need to do an order test, and it's exactly the same. So your morale check you're doing. Yeah. They're normally ten. Two dice. Yeah. It has to be nine or less. Nine or less. Okay. Yep, so, so that, less. that comes off and they're just back to normal. So you can so take the pin. Yeah, take the pin off and they can run up the road to wherever you want yep. within 12. So I'm going to move them to be behind the officer because they're quite vulnerable. So they're going to be... Uh, can I go into the house? Yeah, you can run into the building. Okay, uh, I'm going to run the pathfinders into the building yep. behind the officer. There you go, so they're all in the building, ready for the next order. Great. And there should That's, be one dice left. Yeah, it's not for you. And that'll be these guys here. So let's have a look what I'm going to do. Okay, these guys are just gonna run up into the building here. Yeah. And they're gonna take a defensive position in here. Because then you just have hard cover, so that's very beneficial for your defense. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I've done it for. It's I've taken up a defensive line along here, basically, and ready to repulse any Americans that try and come my way. Yep. Okay. There you go. So that's the um, round two completed. So what we do again is collect up all the dice and go again for turn three Great. and uh, see what happens. Okay. So turn three. So here we are. The Germans have got a defensive line. The Americans are spreading out across, trying to outflank me. Um, do you want to pull a dice and yep. see what happens and talk through? What are you thinking of doing? Uh, it's you. It's me, okay. So. I am just going to fire my half track. So because your officer is there, we're both up against, so I don't think you're really gonna get any cover for there, but you are a small team, but there's also something called point blank. Right, so as I say, this, uh, half track is going to fire its cannon at your officer team there so all guns have an effective range so as we said the smgs are 12 inches rifles 24 lmgs and machine guns 36 so every rifle and every gun has an effective range half of that is the effective range basically yeah. so if it's the full range so between half range so for a rifle if it can fire 24 the effective range is 12 12 to 24 is long range while we add the penalty but there's also something called point blank. So if you're within six inches of your enemy, you get a minus one or a plus one. So yeah. in this case, ordinarily you shoot on a three. Within six, so it's down to a two, but you are a small team, which is another additional yeah. you get. So that brings it back up to a three. So to hit you, I need a three and I get a two. That's typical. So he's just on a fire. So he's shot at you, but missed. Okay. So let's see who comes out the bag next. You again. Me again. Okay. I am going to put these on ambush again. Okay. Because we're defending. So there's me saying we probably wouldn't use it and we've used it twice. There we go, so these guys are on ambush. Me, right. I am going to run this unit just behind this house. Okay. Uh, so you have a pin? Yeah, so I've got to roll the two dice. Yes, yeah, so you've got to take them around check. Less than nine. Okay, yep, that's right. Oh, so 11 again, 11 so again. they go down again. They're not liking it there, are no. they? The officer's out of sight and uh, they, yeah. they ain't moving forward. So if you put your dice next to them on a, on a yeah. down order. There we go, and then we take the next dice out of the bag. Okay, so um, 
I am going to fire this crew here at your officer who is across there. So he is within six for all of them. So they all get point blank. So the way it works is exactly the same as before. I don't have a movement penalty this time. So it's going to be uh, a three to shoot. Point blank brings it down to a two. You do have a soft cover, which makes it three and you're a small team, which makes it a four. Okay. So all of my guns are firing on a four. So I have five for the LMG. I have two rifles and I have two for the SMG. Now the SMG is long range. So he's going to be sixes. Okay. So these ones are going to roll the fives. So that's two hits. And then these two are going to be sixes. So that's three hits. So now I need to get fives. And this is to kill your officers. Yep. So I've got one five. So your officer's assistant is dead. Yep. He gets a pin. Now, I mean, all those shots and I've killed one man. So it just shows you what, what the uh, value of uh, having veterans is. But because you've lost half of your team, yeah. you have to do a morale check. Okay. So it's the same as you did with your um, other troops. Yep. So they're normally a 10, you've got a pin. So you've got to get nine or less. Yeah. Stay on. And they get nine, so they stay on. So you're still happy to go? Yep. Good, right. Okay, so it's Germans. So my Germans are gonna take another shot at your squad there. I just wanna get some pins on them. I wanna stop their, the effectiveness of the, because effectively what you've done is you're trying to outmaneuver me. You're coming around both sides. So I need to get some pins on you. There's one pin already. So I've got the SMG, which will be long range, soft cover, which will be fives. And then I've got the rifle, uh, which is just going to be soft cover. So I do the soft cover first on the rifle, which is a four, which hits. And then the two SMGs needed fives. So that's two hits. So that's another pin on that troop. Yep. So if you turn it, the dial round to two. Okay. So you can see there's a little dial. If you turn that round to well, two. Well, I've already got one because it's another two hits, is it? No, so each time you take a hit, you get a pin. Yeah. So it's now on two. And now I'm going to try and kill two people needed fives. Yes, so I've got two dead, but okay. I rolled a six. And can you remember what I said about the six? Uh, that's the... It's like a special shot. Line, so if yeah. I get if I get another six, I can choose. I do. So I'm going to take your NCO. Okay. So oh, can you find your... Him. He's the one kneeling down this with the book. So yeah. take him and another rifleman, because I killed two. Yeah. Now, we put a, li a little dice. Because the NCO's gone, that effectively means you've got an extra pin. Okay. So when you're taking a morale check, although they've got two... There's a minus one for the morale check, so they've now got three pins, okay. effectively. Yeah. So their effectiveness has dropped even more. Yeah. So I'm just trying to lay the fire down to stop you moving, moving. Because yes. I can't, uh, the chances of me killing all of your veteran troops is really, really hard. But actually, if I can get to turn six, and I've stopped you make, making the advance. So those are now becoming less combat effective. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So I think there's a couple of dice left. I think they're all yours now, aren't they? I think so. Yeah, and you're going to run them? Yeah. Do you know where you're going? Yes. I'm gonna either get in the house or if I can't make it, hide behind it. But I should, yeah, I can comfortably get in there. Yep. So we'll come back when you're all in there. So think about your positioning because you want to put your machine gun near a hole. Yeah. You want to put your BAR. So everything that fire more put by the holes because they're the ones that you want shooting, aren't they? So because it's, because it's ruins, um, you can have a few of your troops outside of the ruins and still get the defence for being in a ruin. So as long as half of your troops, and more, as long as more than half are in, in the ruin, so you probably need to put them on the other side because that would Sorry, be yeah. longer than 12 inches then, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. But as long as more than half are in the ruin, you'll get the cover for the ruin. Yeah, it's easier. that's your NCO, so not everyone's going to be able to fire, but you've run into a nice firing position, you've, you're outflanking me quite nicely, just going to make me think about having to move back round and take yeah, a defensive stance. Half, isn't it? So I can have them. Yeah, and as long as they're all within one inch, so you haven't got anyone that's outside of one inch. Yeah, that's within an inch of that. So. But to be honest, you just want your, your machine gun and your BAR, so they're in a position to fire, yeah. which you've done, so you've got your, your machine gun and your BAR, so you're in a good position next time to fire on my flank.
Good. So there should be a couple of dice left, isn't there? Yeah. Going to. Should do with the opposite. I'm going to run. I'm going to retreat a bit because he's not in good position there. Okay, so he's got pins. So you need to take a courage check. Yeah. That morale check. So again, two dice. Let's see if I can have some better luck. Nine dice. <laughs> even Ooh. worse. Right. Twelve. So he's even worse. Do you know what food bar is? Uh, ish. Yeah. Yes, so hold your, hold your ears if your mum and dad are listening, but it means fucked up beyond all re, uh, all recognition. So something really bad has happened. Yeah. So there are rules around this. So basically, okay. he's heard that something behind him. It's the Pathfinders, but he doesn't know that. He's turned around and gone, oh shit, and he's just opening fire on everything you can see. So okay. there's a chance here you might shoot on your own troops. Okay. So let's look at what you roll for a foobar. Right, so because you rolled a foobar, you need to roll 1d6 and see what you get. If you get a one or two, it's going to be friendly fire. Four. So basically, he panics and does exactly what they wanted him to do anyway. So he has to run as far away as possible from the closest visible enemy. So I suggest the closest visible enemy is this. So yeah. it has to go 12 inches away back where he came from, basically. Yes, okay. So just a straight line from the half track, 12 inches. Yeah, okay. From the half track, so it has to be so if you take it from the half track here, yeah, then yeah. You, you can't kind of make it so oh, you end so up in cover. Up. Okay. So he's basically panicked and just gone, ah, he's going to end up right there. Yep. And I keep the pin. pin. Yep. Yep. Because it's all part of him, part of his panic. Yeah. Okay. And then you put a dice next to him, which is on run. run. Okay. So it could have been worse. You could have turned around, point blank, shot, shot yeah. at the Pathfinders. So that's what I was hoping for. Right. Good. Final one. And then your last one is the Pathfinders. Pathfinders. So they're in a nice position, but yeah, they've only got 12 inch firepower, so you kind of can wait for support to come in, or you can move forward and shoot. You could try and shoot there, but are you going to be within 12? It's going to be long range, I mean hardcover, so it's going to be a yeah, I'm, tough call. And so I can put pins on your half track to make it less effective. If you hit, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to advance, yep. and then fire at the half track everything because why not so, so you don't have to go six inches you can go no, up to six if you only want to go three or four you can do but six is the longest you can go yeah and if i'm because the half track can only fire so far if i'm on its side here would it be able to fire back on a, another turn um i can just move with it okay so you're still within my 45 degree arc of this anyway so yeah so okay, about what's then I'm going to fire at that and try and make it less effective. Okay, so you've got uh, eight shots. I'm in soft cover probably if more than half of the vehicle's covered, but the bockage is quite high, so it's going to be, um, I would imagine they're all within point blank as well. So you don't get movement penalty, so it's going to be threes. So eight shots need the threes. Okay. Okay. So because it's open top, ordinarily you can't damage armour, but because it's yeah. open top, you can put a pin on it. Okay. So yeah. six. So that's it. So it just six, gets a pin. Three. Okay. So all of those shots, just a pin. But as you found out with yours, it can impact. So you've had an officer run off. You've had a team over there stalled twice. Yeah. So it can have an impact. So there we go. So that was the end of turn three. So any questions or comments at the moment. No, that would make sense, yeah. Good, so the Germans are all hunkered down here quite nicely. The Americans have tested the water a bit, got a little bit of a bloody nose, but not really. They've just got a few dead. This is what happens in turn four. Okay, turn four. Let's see who gets the first dice. Come on. Yes, there you go. So it's my Germans again. Okay. So I need to decide what I'm going to do and whether you are within 45 degrees of my gun. Uh, but in any case, I am going to try and move it. Because okay. I'm gonna reverse back slightly. So I've got a pin, the regular, which is normally a nine, so I need eight or less, seven. So the pin comes off and I'm just gonna move them there. Yeah. So movement four, Point blank three, 
and you're in the open, so that's all it is. So it's one shot needing a three. And I get a four. Okay. So the way this works is I've got a nice little cannon on the top, which I'll show you, this template. So the type of gun it's got, there de yep. determines which it uses. So you've got one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. So you can see the little markers to say the inches. Yeah. So let's work out what, how many I can shoot. Right, so with a light anti-tank gun, it's got a one inch template. So the way it works is I position it to see how many I can get, as many as I can. So can I get four? No, I can get three quite comfortably. So if you look down on top of that, you can see that yeah, the bases are all covered. That. Three bases yeah. are covered. So I can get three of them. So I've got three hits, so they're normally a five to kill, but because this has got high explosives, I get plus one. So it brings it down to a four, so I need fours. I get one kill, so one man's dead. Yeah. And he also gets D2 pins. So they just get one pin. Yeah. So one pin, one dead. Okay. 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 Right, so. I got a hit, but it only killed one guy. They could have killed three. If they weren't veterans, probably chance of killing them was higher. But you'll probably notice what I've also done is position my half tracks to protect my men. Yeah. So you probably can't see them now. So it just makes it more difficult. Do you stay there? Do you move forward? Do you expose yourself? Yeah. But let's see. So any questions about the cannon firing? No. Yes, it's just so, a yeah, so the bigger the gun, and you can have mortars, so the bigger the gun, the bigger the template it uses. But in this instance, it's just a light anti-tank gun, so it's a one-inch template. Great. Okay, next dice. You. Me. Okay. Right. So I am going to fire my troops here. So I can know you've got those guys across there. So let's see how far they are. So they're not within close range, but they are all within 12. So it's gonna be a shoot of three, soft cover four, so that's it. Right, so the light machine gun has five shots. That's just gonna be soft cover. Then I've got two rifles, again, that's just soft cover. And then I've got two SMGs, which are soft cover and a long range. So I'll do the SMGs first, because they need fives, nothing. And then I'll do these seven dice for the two rifles and the LMG, uh, just needing soft cover. We said them before. So one, two, three, four, five hits. That's another pin. So if you turn the, the, the pins on there, just turn that to two. And then I need three fives to kill them. Oh, three sixes. Daka, daka, daka. They are dead. Okay. So okay. take them off. Yep. And then you take their dice off the bag. And if that was part of the game, it would be one nil to the Germans. So you've just nice. lost lost a point, or I've got gained a point, if you like, but that's a yeah. un, unit wiped out. So you need to think about, actually, am I spread too thin? Do I need a, is it worthwhile doing a full frontal on the Germans? I've got a nice defensive position. I like what you're trying to do, come around the flanks, but yeah, you need your officer in there and getting them moving. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay, who's next? You. Me again, crikey. Right, so I'm gonna do the same with my officer again. The last few times he's shot, he's done quite well. So I've got three shots. I have got the SMG, which is gonna be long range soft cover, so that's fives. And I've got the rifle, which I think was fours. Yes, so let's look. The uh, SMG is gonna be long range soft cover, needing fives, no. And the rifle needing fours, no, so I've just Open fire, but you're hunkering down a bit. I can't see you anymore. Okay. So one of the things you do need to think about is, do you remember I said everyone has to be an inch apart? Oh, so no, so no, like, you can't move them at the moment, Okay. but it's but called unit, unit cohesion. So yeah. you have to move to get them together. Yeah. You can move forward and bring them together, but you have to move to get them together. Because Where I had, I took 
yeah. those troops away. So and that's the thing, because you might yeah. you might be thinking, oh, I can just stay here and hide, but actually you can't, you have to move to get together. Yeah, okay. Okay, next dice. Me. Right, so I'm going to run my officer. Good. Uh, group with these guys. So he doesn't have to run. You can't pre-measure, but just think you can if advance and then shoot 18 with his Thompson. So are you within 18? That's the question. And this is why the beauty of not being able to pre-measure because yeah, okay. you can advance. So for your officer to be able to be effective to your troops, you need to be within six inches. So you can move six inches forward and work out in your head, oh, am I within six of my troops? Okay. Or you can just run up and just make sure you definitely are there. But the first thing you need to do is pass an order test because you've got a pin. Yeah, okay. So I'll start with that then. Okay. So normally 10, one pin, so nine or less. Eight, so that pin comes off yep. and he's free to do what you want. So you can run him or advance him. So I think, I wouldn't say it was 18. Well, effectively, that's what it'll be. So he can uh, he can uh, advance six or run twelve. If he advances, yeah. he can fire, and then he can fire twelve inches. So, but it's going to be a I'm pretty gonna... ineffective shot because it's going to yeah, be I'm long, gonna long range and hard cover. So, I'm just going to run. Uh, that should be well yeah. within. So he can't go within an inch of them. Can't go within an inch. Okay. No, but as long as he's outside an inch. So the bases just help you an inch. Yeah. So as long as he's not within an inch of them. Yeah. There you go. And then he can give his, when they go to take the command, they get the benefit of having an officer near them yeah. to learn what to do. Okay. Great. All right, next dice. Me again. So you've got your two squads on the outsides. Yeah. I... What was the range of the machine gun? It was pretty good, wasn't it? 36. Well, that building there. So you have to be able to see to shoot. So if a trooper can't see, he can't shoot. And if I do an advance, yep. I don't have to move all of them. I'm, I could just move yeah, my machine. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna do an advance. You can even shuffle them so they're all up against the hedge or you can shut. So as long as you have to advance because you you don't have unit cohesion, but you can move them way along as long as you don't move them more than six. Yep, okay, so I'm advancing. Uh, I've got to run, uh, roll that check, haven't I? Yes, yeah, so. And I have the other, they're on two pins and the. So the way it works, yes, yeah, so normally it's 10. You've got two pins, which brings it down to an eight. You have no NCO, which brings it down to a seven, but you do have an officer, which brings it back up to eight. Okay. So you need eight or less. So hopefully you have some better luck. There yeah, you so you Sorry. take that two down to a one. Yep. And they're free to do what you want. Okay, so we're advancing. Uh, so I'm going to move my machine gunner up. It's within six, so. Yeah, so on that side, uh, I'll keep these guys here. Uh, yep, okay, uh, and then I'll fire at. What's better to shoot at? Are those guys just because they're around that corner, they're still in. Hard cover? Yes, as long as more than half of the units behind cover, their yeah. class is cover. So who are you thinking of shooting at? The officer or...? Uh, are they... Is that officer within an inch? Because they would be boosting... Well, it's within six inches, so it's what, what you can see. So if yeah, you get down to the... They're a small unit. To, yeah, they are. Yeah. So if you get down to the eye level from there, you can see... I can just about see the officer and I can see that machine gunner. Um, okay, I'm going to shoot the fire at the officer then. Yep. With all of them. So, how many is that? One, two, three, four, and then machine gunner. Are any of those? No, they're not MGs. All right, and then machine gunner. Okay, yeah, okay. so you have got uh, three rifles. A BAR and a machine gun. So oh, the BAR so the takes two shots. Two. Okay, so that's. So measure the distance first. Yep. Who are you firing at? Uh, the officer. Okay. Uh, 
and then so they're all inches. in they're all within range so you don't have a penalty for that so yep. you've got a movement penalty uh for your machine gun not for the rifles so let's do the machine gun first okay. so it's normally a three you've moved on a four what else have you got uh i've got the officer so um, the officer doesn't count so it's what that okay. team fires so the officer just is around your morale when you've been able okay. to pass so you've got pin, you've got distance and cover. So that's the kind of things you're looking at. Yeah. So okay. it's normally a three. You've moved, which is a four for the machine gun. Yeah. He's got pin, which is a five. Yeah. Small team, six. Uh, and then whether they're in hard cover or soft cover or no cover. Okay. So, so six. Um, right. So it was movement four, pin five. Small team six, and then are they in cover? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you need to roll that six again, see so okay. if you get another six. No, no so they miss, so that's just your machine gun. Then okay. you do your VAR, which is movement three, small team four, pin five, and I think from where he is, there's no cover. So okay. just two shots at five. One hit. One hit. And then you've got three rifles, which will be the same fives. Okay. So, one, two, three. Okay, one, so six, three hits. One, five. So, yeah, that's fine. So get your three dice together. Yep. So it's a pin on the officer. And roll those three dice, and you need fours to kill. Okay. Yeah, so two the officer fours. team's dead. And okay. it's one all. Okay. One more, for, one more go for me. Yep. Well, it's whoever comes out the bag next. Yeah, so that's me. Uh, it's just this unit here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's see. And that half track is covering yes. the troops. Well, you need to get down and look, but it should be. Yeah, yeah, it is. So you could put them on ambush, and at the end of the go, you could leave them on ambush. So if I move the truck, I you can shoot it, or you can just idea. open fire and put another pin on the truck. Or you can move sure. forward to the hedge line here, ready for next go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot the truck actually. I think that's just to try and be inconvenient. Yeah, that's so you're right. just going to need a three. So grab a handful of dice, chuck them. As long as you've got three, it's got a pin. Because okay. to be honest, you can count loads up, but you're going to have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine, ten dice. So Needing a three, which you should do. But it will only get pin. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So I've put a pin on there. So that has now got a pin. So I think there's only one dice left, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And that will be my troopers in here. So I need to whittle you down a bit more. So I am just going to fire. And they're going to fire across at those guys there behind the hedges. Yep. So let's work out what I'm going to need. Right, so looking at it, I've got the LMG. It's got five shots. It's just soft cover, making it a four. The two rifles, soft cover, making it a four. And then the SMG at the back has got two shots, making it a five, because it's long range and soft cover. So let's do the fives first. Yeah, that's one hit. And then my rest of my squad's needing fours. Uh, oh, they all hit. Okay. That's a bit nasty. So. I have got eight hits. Okay. So you take another pin, so that goes up to two. And I'm gonna need fives to kill again. Two, four dead. Okay. And I'm gonna roll those sixes again in case I get to choose. So it's just four dead that you okay. choose. So you always start off with your grunts, get rid of those. Yeah. Um, it's whether you want an LMG on his own or a BAR on a rifle on his own. Because that's two men, okay. Yeah. Um, I think just for defence, because those guys mm -hmm. will take two hits, I'm going to get rid of the yep. MG. And did you put your pin on? Uh, yeah, on two. Yeah, right. So what's just happened is I've just killed more than half of your team. So it's um, Yeah, so you need to do a morale check. Yeah. Basically, are they going to hang around? So they're normally ten. You've got two pins makes it an eight, but you do have an officer there because he helps, yeah. which makes it a nine. So okay. nine or less, you should pass this. Seven, seven. Yeah, so they eight. just stay. So you've got a couple of guys there being shot to pieces. Okay. And is that the end of turn four? Yeah, it would be, yeah. 
Okay, so that's not gone so well for the Americans, has it? Yeah, that defence has definitely worked. Well, that's the difference between being in a hardcover. Um, yeah. Your veteran troops. Um, yeah, and we'll just have to see what happens in turn five. Okay, turn five. Let's collect the dice, put them in. It's one all at the moment, but the Americans have taken a bit of a toll. Okay, so what are you thinking? Uh, oh, is it six inches? I think I'm gonna advance, uh, but I'm gonna run the morale track first. So what are you, where are you gonna advance? Um, are you still I'm trying to get across advance, the road to the building? Yeah, the ruins. to this hard cover, uh -huh. just on that side. Okay. So you've got two pins, so it's 10 down to eight, and there's no NCO down to seven, but you've got an officer, so back up to eight. Yeah. Eight or less. Oh, 11, so they just go down. Yep. They, they don't want any part of this fight. Yep. So you just put the dice next to them and turn it to down. Okay. Okay, next dice out of the bag. That's uh, yours. Mine, right. So at the moment, what do I do? Okay. okay, I am going to do an advance order on my half track. So he's got a pin, so normally a nine down to an eight, and I get a seven. So that pin comes off. I am going to do a pivot, and I'm just going to advance it to there. Okay. Like there, and I'm going to fire my panzer bush. Ooh. The light cannon, the light anti-tank gun with HE into your troops in the ruins. So it's movement four, point blank three, hard cover, fives. So I need a five to hit you. And I get a three. There you go, so that's his go done. So now there is a rule that at the end of each turn, if you're closer to a, one of the vehicles than me, so, for example, if we ended and your troops were here next to mine, my half track would automatically go. It would disappear because you're you basically have got control of it. But okay. I haven't moved yet, no. so the chances of me leaving it there are pretty slim. It's just so you're aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Because it then gives you an option. You know that's already been. So it gives you an option that if you wanted to move up, or am I luring you into coming up to try yeah. and take the half track? It's going to say because otherwise there's no. I can't get rid of the half track no. with any of my weapons. No. Okay, that's nice. And it's you. Okay, so. Let's push forward. These, these Americans are taking up our area. So I'm gonna move forward across here and under France. Going across to here. They're in the road, but they don't care. We've got flanking people protecting us. So they've advanced, they're gonna shoot. So it's movement four, hard cover five. We're not within point blank, but they're all, all within 12. So it's gonna be five shots for the LMG, two shots for the rifle makes it seven, and the SMG is another two shots. So it's movement four, hard cover five, but the SMG is gonna be sixes. So let's do the SMG first, needing sixes. No, and then I've got seven shots, needing fives. Three hits, so that's a pin on them, yep. and then fives to kill, one dead. And it's just of your choice. It's one okay. pin, one dead. Had it been a proper building, it would have been harder to kill you. But because it's just ruins, we just treat it as ruins. Yep. Yep. And you did the right thing because you took it from outside the building. If you took it from inside the ruins, you might end up with more people outside and then you lose the cover. Yeah. Okay. All right. You again. Me again. Right. 
Right, so these Germans, they are going to advance across to here. They can taste the smell of victory. It's hanging heavy in the air. So they have moved across into the road. The whole army is pushing forward. So I'm going to shoot at your officer. Okay. He's within six. from the back guy there. So that guy there, he's moved, which is four, long range five, small team six. So he missed. Then I've got uh, an LMG, well, let's do the SMG. So he's moved, which is three, soft cover four, small team fives, long range sixes, nothing. And then the LMG and a rifle that is within range is movement four. They're up against the hedge there. So it's moving for soft team, uh, small team, five point blank fours. Nothing. So a whole hedge is lit up with me going, daka, 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 yeah. and they've missed. <laughs> Nothing has gone through. So that's good for you. Yep. Because we're still in the fight. Right. So what are you thinking? So I think everything of mine's been now, isn't it? So yeah. you've got your officer or the unit over here. Okay. I am going to run my officer. Because... So why are you think where are you going to run him to? And what are you uh, thinking? Well, so he's got a machine gun in his hand, and there's Germans yeah. about to kill his mates, and he's going to run off. Okay, I'm gonna. So you know you're within point blank, because I'm within right. point blank. Okay. So at the moment you've got two shots, you could be hitting me on threes, killing me on fours, so you could do two shots. You can also move as well, so if you wanted to move somewhere... But then I get the movement penalty. No, because he's American and he's oh. got a Thompson. Okay, so I'm going to advance then. Yeah, so you can... Uh, stay in point blank, but move slightly forwards. Um, so just to try and get that whole group in point blank. Uh, I'm gonna go Yeah, there. you just have to get one of them in, so. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so you've got two I'm shots, gonna and it's gonna be uh, soft cover four, so two shots needed four, point okay. blank three, so two shots needed threes. Six and a four, so two hits. Yes, yeah. and then roll those if you get fours. One four, yeah. So that's one dead. So I'll take the rifleman off there. And then you've got your team over here, haven't you? They're in the building. Yeah. So, so what are you going to do? Are you going to hunker down? or If I'm shooting, they just have soft cover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I can see um, everything I've got. Yeah, um, so you've got you've got an LMG, yep. which has got four shots. BAR. You've got BAR, which is two shots. That's four six. You've got yep. a rifle, another rifle, and an SMG. Okay. So everything's going to be soft cover. So you're going to need fours for soft cover. Yeah. Apart from your SMG, which is going to be fives. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight shots needing fours. Okay, eight shots needing fours. Okay, so that's three, four. Yep, four, four hits. Yeah, and then you've also got your SMG, which is two shots needing fives. Okay. Okay, okay. So, no hits on that. so that's a pin, and then you roll those, and you need for the ones your hits, your fours, you need yep. fours to kill. So two dead. Two dead. So I'm gonna take a couple of riflemen off, and they've got a pin. Okay, okay, that's the end of turn five. The Germans are starting to push forward to try and take the win and victory, but the Americans are hanging in there. What's going to happen on turn six? Let's see. Okay, turn six. Let's see who gets the first dice. Come on. It's going to be Germans. Come on, Germans. Me. Ah, oh, look at that. It's the superior radios the Americans have. Right, what are you thinking of doing then? Um... So you can, with officers, you can do a commander which is called with me. So you can pull another dice out and anyone within six inches can activate with you. So you can get your other unit as well to move. So I could get them, yeah. all of them? 
to fire? Yeah. Okay. You have to pass your test first. So you do it with me. So you take another bag, uh, dice out of the bag. Yeah. And you get the other team to go first because you want to relay your officer credentials on them and make them a bit more combat effective. Yeah. So, so they... they've got two pins and no NCO. So that would be a seven, but they do have the officer next to them. So two dice needing eight or less for them to activate. Okay. Yes. Three. So that goes okay. down to one pin. So their combat effectiveness is getting better. The officer's making a difference, isn't he? Yeah. So you can just stand and shoot. They are Americans, so you can move and shoot if you want. Uh, yeah, although do I get... So six. neither of us now really have got cover because we're both against the hedge, aren't we? So Yeah. So I'm going to have all of them firing. So that's yep. SMG, rifle, and Yeah, we do it that way. That's fine. So you've got two, four, five shots. Although technically... That would kind of be soft cover where you've moved because you've moved away from the hedge so i then get the benefit okay. from the hedge so if you kind of stick to the hedge so there, keep them right next to it okay yeah, yeah. then it negates as he so okay. and then your officer would just move up when he goes so you'll have yep. five shots you've got a pin on those so four of the shots are going to be um sorry three of the shots are going to be uh needing so it's uh Movement would still be three, point blank two, pin three. So threes for those. Three shots needing three. threes. Yep. Yep. Three hits, and then you've okay. got your SMG with your officer needing twos. And that's two. Yeah, yep. two dice, that's it. Yeah, so all five hits, so roll those to wound. And you need fours, so you get four fours on what down. Oh, none. So it's just a pin. <laughs> what are the chances? Crikey. There you go. So the Germans have lived to fight another yeah. day. Right. Next dice out of the bag. Okay. You. Me. Right. Well, it would be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I am going to. Let's see. Have we done a, a, an assault? No, not yet. Okay. That, that was the 12, going to, 12 but, move. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to either. So my guys with a one pin are going to take a morale check. They pass it, the morale check is passed, so they got rid of the pin, and they are just going to return fire. So, all point blank, no movement penalty. We agreed it wasn't against the hedge, apart from the Let's see, are they all within 12, uh, 6? Yes. So, I've got one rifle and the LMG will be twos. And the SMG will be three because it's long range. So SMG, two hits. And then the rifle and LMG needing twos. And there you go. So I've got six hits on your two guys. Needing fives to kill. One dead, okay. but that's another pin, and you have to take a morale check. Yeah, so, yeah. so you've got no, you don't have an NCO, so he's normally ten. Two pins brings him down to an eight. No NCO, seven, but he's next to an officer. Yeah. Okay. Nine. So they fail. So he runs off, okay. and that's a point to me. So it's now two one. Oh no! They just couldn't handle the machine gun fire in front of them. Okay, so it's the Germans again. So my uh, thing here, half track, is going to fire into the troops there. It's a point blank, I haven't moved, but they're in hard cover. So it's gonna be a five. Nope, kaboom, nothing. Next dice. Me. So it depends what you want to do. You can just shoot at my troops. They yeah, still get to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire again. Can your um, medium, can your light machine gun see my troops, or is the light, half track in the way? Uh, not trees in the way, but yes, I can see through there. Okay, so it's gonna be uh, fours for. Oh, you've got you've got to take a morale check. Oh. You've got a pin. So two dice, needing nine or less. Had bad luck with these. 
Oh yeah, so that is better. the opposite to a food bar. So that is courage beyond all belief. So ordinarily, if you have more pins, you can roll to take more off, but you've only got the one so that it comes off. So now you get to choose what you want to do. And it's just firing, it's adding up the guns you've got. Yep. Um, and so it's going to be two, three, four for the rifles, because you've got two rifles and a BAR. That's needing fours. And then you've got four from the LMG, again needing fours for the soft cover. And then two SMGs, which will need five, because long range soft cover. Okay, do the first four. Yeah, and the fours. So one hit. One hit. Yeah. Next four. Two hits. And then you've got the SMGs and even fives. Two, two hits. hits. There you go. So roll those so I get another pin. And you now need. So there's one dead and two okay. pins. So now I've got an NCO. I'm going to have to take my loader off. So my gun is now operating less effectively. Okay. Okay, so last ice in the bag is these troops here. Um, they are going to just return fire. So I have pins, two pins. So I've got to take a round check. It's normally uh, nine, two pins is a seven or less. Oh, courage beyond all belief. So I can take those two pins off and they are then gonna fire with the LMG at minus one. So I get five shots. It's hard cover, which would make it five. No loader makes it sixes, nothing. So I've just returned fire, but it's not going anywhere. And that is the end of turn six. Okay, so we are going to do a turn seven. So let's see who gets the first dice and we can decide what we're gonna do. It's me, right. Well, I can't let your officer survive any longer, can I? So I am going to just fire at him. Yep. So I've got everything it's going to be point blank, so it's going to be normally a three, small team four, point blank back to a three. So I've got five hits, and then I just need a five to kill him. Yeah, he's yeah, dead. He's gone. And that's a dice out of the bag. <clears throat> then it's just down to these last units here. <coughs> so who's going to have the next dice? Yep. Oh, it's American. So, what do you think you want to do? Uh, I'm going to assault yeah, Good. those two troops. Yeah, so first of all, measure if you're within 12. Yep. Should be. So this is going to be a run order. You don't have any pins, so you don't have to worry about that. So you find your nearest man to me, yep. and you measure to my nearest man. So it's probably a guy in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, easy within 12. Yep. So... I haven't been yet, so I get to have a reactionary fire from where you are right now. So I get five shots, and it's gonna be hard cover, which makes it a five, and no loader makes it a six. Nothing. Okay, okay so my reactionary fire didn't work. So now you run across and you surround me. Just move them, as long as one can get to 12, they can all get to 12. So just form a bubble around me. Now yeah. think, think about this cleverly. At the end of your go, you're going to get a very consolid consolidation, aren't you? So let's jump over there. You want to be this side, don't you? You want to be pushing your troops over here. So you have to surround me. But if you're predominantly on this side, so put your LMG there. Yeah. As close as you can. You can get that closer. And then one in the middle there. That's it. As close as you can get. So you can go in the gap there. Right, yeah. so you have come across that barricade, so we fight together. So every man gets one attack, regardless of his weapon. Okay. But you have an SMG, so he gets, if he hits, he goes again. So you've got one, two, three, four, five shots, needing fours, and then your SMG is a separate one, okay. which if you hit, goes again. Needing fours, okay. Yeah. One, yep. and then roll your SMG, and if he hits, he can go again. So one shot, one shot. No, oh, one shot, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Okay, no, so yeah. you've just killed one, so you could lose here. So I've got the same, I've got one guy, and I've also got an SMG. So my one guy, needing a five, and then the SMG, got the five, so at the moment it's a draw. If I roll five or more on this one for my second SMG shot, I've won. No, so we both killed one each. Okay. 
So we take one off each, just take a rifleman and my machine gunner, and we go again until there's a clear winner. Okay. So you get all your dice again. So another. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, needing a four. Yeah, so I'm definitely dead, but because we're going simultaneously again, this is my SMG. No. So okay. my NCO dies. Now you roll a D6, and this determines how far you get to regroup. Okay. So you've just run the combat, you've chucked yep. your grenades in, knife attack, machine guns going off, yep. and now you've got the memento. How far can you go? One. One. So that's probably enough just to jump the hedge, isn't it? The troops kind of jump across, they move forward this way. So every man sort of shuffles along. Yeah. And it just means you're getting a bit closer. And that half track is now... Uh, at the end, the I still get a chance to okay. move and fire. It's whether I can get closer to my troops than yours for you okay. to get the point. So take the dice out of the bag for... Yep. That you've just... A German one comes out because you've just killed a yep. unit. And yep. there should be one left for me. Right, so... What am I going to do with my half track? So I've got to save him. So he's going to do a pivot and he's going to drive nine inches. And let's measure how far nine inches is. So that should be So I couldn't quite get far enough away, um, but I'm not within arc of fire, so I can't shoot at you either. And that ends turn seven. So if we look at the dice, uh, at the end of turn seven, the half track would go. You get the dice. And it's three all. So it's going to be a draw, um, which is about right because that would come off, and we've both got an infantry unit left on the board. So there you go. That is your first game of bolt action. Brilliant. Thank you. That was great. Uh, any questions or any comments? No. All simpler than it looks. All very easy. Yeah. Really, and really fun. As you can see, it's easy to make a table look good. The figures are easy yeah, to paint. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just have another go and see what you see what you think. Um, if there's any questions anyone else has around the game, just pop them down below. Um, but this is a very basic starter game. Don't forget, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you again soon for the next battle.